Why would I be talking to y'all about a yam shaped like an animal foot that has been used for thousands of years in East Asian countries in a multitude of different foods? I don't know, I never thought I would actually say a sentence like that. I'm back and I'm better than ever. Hello and welcome to another episode of Let Me Learn Ya. Today we are talking about a supplement slash food that you probably have been hearing a lot of if you are somebody who is in the keto world or maybe you're on a low calorie diet or maybe you are someone with diabetes and that is glucomanon. Glucomanonin. Namamana. Nanamana. Namanama. Manamana. Manamana. I don't know, I can't stop myself. Listen, y'all, you can't turn this off, okay? If it's annoying you, imagine living with me or being me. Glucomanon has been inducted into the Superfood Hall of Fame, and like any other superfood, there are lots of claims behind it, such as helping with weight loss, helping you to reduce belly fat, lowering triglycerides, lowering cholesterol, helping you to stabilize your blood sugar. For once, this is a superfood that actually lives up to all of the claims. Curious now? Intrigued? Let's chat about it. Glucomanon is really picking up steam because of the popularity of keto, and everybody freaking out about their blood sugar and everybody still wanting to lose weight. It is an extract, as previously mentioned, taken from a foot yam, more on that later, and sold as a supplement, used as a food additive. There's even a lot of research being conducted on using it as wound dressings. I swear I was using, I can't remember if it was a skincare product or a hair care product, I was searching for it, I couldn't find it, that listed glucomanon in its ingredients. So now this magical superfood is making its way into skin and hair care. Anyone who's watching this, who is from an East Asian culture or maybe in an East Asian country, might be scratching their head about like glucomanon. I don't know what that is, but what if I called it by its God-given name, which is cognac. Now y'all are probably laughing and going, cognac, oh geez. You guys are always taking our old stuff and remarketing it and repackaging it and trying to act like you discovered it. East Asian cultures have been using cognac for probably thousands of years as a food additive, using it to make certain foods and also for its medicinal and health properties. They make drinks, jellies, noodles, candies. Here in the US, if you've heard about it at all, it's probably because you've heard about a supplement in powder form or pill form, or you've heard about these zero calorie noodles. Cognac is the root. It has many different names, but the most commonly used one is cognac. And one of its other names is elephant yam because it looks like an elephant's foot. Hence all my foot comments. I get fixated on things. Cognac is just another type of a root vegetable and glucomanon is just the fiber that's been extracted from that root. Glucomanon isn't so much this magical new superfood as it's literally just a fiber supplement rebranded and remarketed. There is a huge body of evidence from decades and decades of research about fiber that supports intake of fiber leading to all of the health benefits I mentioned were linked with glucomanon. Why do you think we're always telling y'all to eat your freaking fiber? Fiber is satiating. It has been linked to reducing belly fat. It has been linked to promoting digestive regularity and increasing the good bacteria in your colon. It has been linked to reducing cholesterol. And not only has it been linked, but in multiple studies, it has actually been shown to cause these things. It is linked to weight loss, loss of visceral belly fat. So overall, this new ingredient, again, is just old, stinky, soluble fiber. 
There was a review that compiled all of the research conducted on glucomenon specifically, and it has been found to have all of the benefits that I mentioned, though some of those studies were small. As I said before, we have data and evidence on soluble fiber. It is nutritional dogma at this point, and glucomenon is just a soluble fiber. So one plus one equals two, right? It's not too crazy to assume that glucomenon has the same benefits as soluble fiber, given that it's soluble fiber. Here's what I say about all of this, because I love to share my opinions all the time. I say, if you can, get your fiber from whole foods and not supplements. Because not only are you getting fiber from a whole food, but you're also getting vitamins, minerals, phytochemicals, what else? Antioxidants. And you're getting the flavor and enjoyment of that food. It is also a lot harder to overdose on fiber or take too much fiber when you're eating it because your stomach will only take so much than it is to overdose on taking too many pills or drinking too much powder. Some of you may not be able to, for whatever reason, get fiber from your foods. And if that's the case, then glucomenon may be a good fiber supplement for you. One other suggestion I have is if you still want a fiber supplement that supports gut health and all this stuff, you might want to consider inulin instead of glucomenon. Only because it's probably cheaper and it's way more accessible. Glucomenon isn't as well known as inulin, so it might be more expensive and harder to find. If you'd like to incorporate it into your routine, that is absolutely your choice. It is just a fiber, just like starting any type of fiber supplement or increasing your fiber. There aren't many risks involved. But I will call attention one risk that has been raised about glucomenon supplements specifically, whether it's in powder form or capsule form, and that is a choking risk. This is because soluble fiber soaks in moisture to become viscous and bulky. So if you haven't completely swallowed a pill or cleared the powder from your throat, it may start sucking in the moisture from your throat to grow and cause blockage in your throat. This is also why every soluble fiber bottle includes drink six to eight ounces of water with the supplement to prevent that choking. And choking is all I could find with glucomenon specifically, but there are certain side effects that can happen with suddenly increasing your fiber intake. And that is constipation. If you take too much soluble fiber in, you're not drinking enough water, perhaps, it can bulk up and then refuse to move its way out of your system. It is the friend or family member that takes up residence on your couch and never freaking leaves. Bloating, abdominal pain, gas, this can all happen if you suddenly increase your fiber and your body just isn't used to it. Some people can experience diarrhea from increasing fiber too quickly. Anyone with diabetes should also keep an eye on their blood sugar because as mentioned, fiber can help to regulate blood sugar by lowering it. And lastly, potential intestinal blockage for all the reasons I mentioned about the choking. Otherwise, glucomenon and fiber are generally recognized as safe. Lastly, always speak with your healthcare provider or your registered dietitian if you are thinking about incorporating fiber, more fiber into your diet or taking a fiber supplement. I actually purchased uh, the zero calorie noodles, so I will be sharing that with y'all. Okay, so these are the zero calorie noodles. As you can see on this, they call it spaghetti. And it's made, they show a little thing with marinara sauce. However, these are not Italian noodles. This is not pasta, okay? These are noodles that have been used in East Asian countries. So I wanted to look for an East Asian recipe that I think would fit more with this considering the countries that have been eating this for a thousand years probably know better what tastes good with it. But first you've got to strain them and rinse them. Now this recipe warned me that these smell fishy, slightly fishy, so not really looking forward to that. Mm, they don't smell fishy, maybe mushroomy. So first we're gonna boil the noodles. I just dumped them in so they gotta boil for three minutes and then we are going to dry heat them. I mixed up 
the sauce here, which is tahini, soy sauce, red pepper, and rice vinegar. Okay, so now I've added the sauce and the cabbage. It's hard to stir these noodles. Okay, so this is the final product. I just transferred the noodles to the bowl where I mixed the sauce because I'm the laser. And then drizzled some sesame oil, the green onion, and sesame seed. Oh my god, this lighting is so great. It's, it's so great. I will say these noodles were super spongy and like hard to get the sauce mixed into. Try that. Interesting. I feel like the recipe's missing something. I can't put my finger on it. Maybe it's garlic. I bet garlic would take this recipe to a new level. But this is delish. I thought the texture of these noodles would bug me because I'm a texture person. I can tell they aren't like normal noodles, but it's not so spongy or weird or wet or slimy that it would turn me off. I like this. I actually really like this. I don't know how spaghetti sauce would taste on this. Maybe I'll try that later. But this is quite delicious and enjoyable. Um, given that this is basically made out of soluble fiber. Thumbs up. Overall, glucomenon is just a fiber supplement. If it's put into foods, it's just a fiber extract added to foods like any other fiber extract. It is generally recognized as safe and might have all of the health benefits associated with soluble fiber attached to it. And thus far, the research on glucomenon specifically supports that. If anything, it's not dangerous. It's not gonna cause any bad things to happen if you're careful with the choking. If you're thinking about incorporating a fiber supplement into your routine, always start low and go slow. Start low with the dose and slowly increase if necessary. Do not start with an immediate high dose or else you're gonna be in pain, my friends. You're gonna be cursing the heavens. That's today's video. So I hope y'all got all the information you were looking for in this video. As always, leave comments below about foods you want me to review or topics you want me to discuss or myths you want me to bust. I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hopefully I can do this fast. Probably not because I babble too much. I need medication. This ingredient has been used in East Asian culinary. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with me? And here comes my cat. God damn it. Taking like 30. I thought that was closed the whole time. Was it not? That's scary. Need medication. There was a study, there was a study was a study. There was a study. S -s 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 -s. Anybody get that reference? Comment below. I'm just gonna keep throwing out random references and let you guys, it's like my Easter eggs. It's my Easter eggs. Gotta let you guys have fun a little bit, right? I mean, all I'm talking about is freaking fiber. That's not really fun. What the hell was I saying? But I apologize ahead of time. I'm on like white girl Google. <laughs>